What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to level 4 of the Zerg campaign in Starcraft Brood War Remastered version. And we are immediately gonna take hold of this infested Terran of ours because we are about to get assaulted. By, if I remember correctly, an Ultralisk? Let's see and find out. Anyway, start building some of your defenses where you can see that we have a very large bank up our sleeves. So, um... So yeah, make make use of that nice fat bank that we have. Could have sworn that there is an attack that comes early on in this level. It's probably becoming Ah, there we go! There we go! Ah uh, but kind of don't want to be too close. The UED has sent its pet Zerg to reinforce their troops. But strangely, there aren't very many Zerg attacking. Maybe the UED is having more difficulty controlling the overmind. All right, so um, the reason why I, I had that infested tearing radio was just to give you a little bit of an idea of how damn strong these things are. It literally just one shot at an ultralisk, and I'm not even kidding when I say a fully upgraded 400 HP uh, ultralisk. Yeah, one shots them too. So yeah, keep that in mind when playing with infested Terran. And that's exactly why we are going to be using these babies for the for the first assault to soften up everything that the um, the Terran and the Zerg have in this level. So ideally, you just want to make use of the first phase of probes in order to oh, or drone, sorry, in order to um, just get your defense your your base is saturated ASAP and. Uh, yeah, just, just just start making use of the excess of, of minerals that we have to catch up with some of your tech and the important things. So, um, these boys over here, we're gonna send them to the top side. There is another base that we want to go and claim to uh, increase the mineral flow that we have. As well as especially the gas flow, because the gas is gonna be super important. So you're gonna be finding all sorts of these uh, things scattered. On the map, there'll be defenses here and there. Um, yeah, like get get rid of like stray things like that as they walk by. We will be experiencing attacks every once in a while. So so yeah. Uh, let's see. We can fold our. Oi. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else over here? Yep, there is. See, as you can as you can see, those those uh, infested Terran they do die very quickly. Keep keep that in mind when working with them. That's why you want to always have a couple more, just for safety reasons. Uh, we are early on just going to max out on our overlords. I mean that that way that way at least we don't have to worry about getting supply blocked. And of course, ah, yeah. uh, well, let's try not to lose an ultralisk this early. Actually, um, I actually forgot. Ah, oh, man, come on, really, buddy? Really now? That was that was stupid. Uh, anyways, let's let's just get two of our infested Terran over there. Start making some more. Ah, uh, okay, let's just get rid of all of them. Bam! Oh, you gotta love it. You really, really, you've gotta love it. And it's such a cheap unit. It's like a hundred minerals and a um, hundred oh, or fifty gas. So the amount of devastation that you can sow just just by Using infested Terran, yeah, definitely makes it use useful to have these units. So um, ideally, the kind of approach that we want to go for with this level is to make a mixture of, um, like, just a, a large mixture of units. And like, we, we, we're going to have ooh, a lurker. We're going to have. Ultralisks, we're going to have um, Zerglings and uh, Guardians. It's just going to be a large variety of units. 
buddy, 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 buddy. That's a mistake. Ah, man. Okay. Well, you got one of our alkalisks. On the fortunate side, however, we are going to get our stuff up and running very, very quickly, so I'm not even too concerned about losing that Ultralisk. Not an ideal situation, but not the end of the world either. Let's get to life tech. We have more than enough overlords going for us over here. Let's um, just get some vision again. And... We're gonna we're gonna get those defenses up and running and hit them hard. Okay, let's knock down the next line of defenses right over here. Whoop. Ah, let's see if we can. Damn. Yeah, um, as, as you've seen, attacks do happen frequently, so getting getting the upgrades is uh, some must. Actually, we don't have to worry about an upgrade like that. The reason why is because we're just going to have guardians, and the guardians are going to do the job that we want them to do. Have more sunken colonies than um, spore crawlers. If you really want to, you can have two, but we will be facing a lot more ground based attacks. Oh. <laughs> oh, beautiful seeing that happen. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, fine. It is, it is costing a bit of gas. I wouldn't deny that, but. None, nonetheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. And on top of it all, they benefit from the Carapace upgrade, so the more durable they are, the better. Extra gas coming up for us. Um, you know what, let's cancel that for now to get to the plus two upgrade. And start making a wave of Zergling. Yeah, m minerals is really on our side, so yeah, let's let's use that to our advantage. So yeah, um, this this level does require quite a bit of work, though. I mean, there's there's so much to kill and destroy that it's it's just gonna take a little bit of time to work through everything. It's it's actually a fun level, in my opinion, it, because of the the amount of stuff that we have to do and um, the amount of things that there are to kill. It's it's actually quite fun. But nonetheless, it can be a pretty challenging level if you if you approach it incorrectly. So um, the idea is to, of course, have have a bunch of defenses over here to make sure that your buildings don't get attacked while you are away. And yeah, we we have to deal with both both Terran and Zerk. So the the variety of attacks that we experience is yeah like more intense for sure. But other otherwise yeah it's the general approach is straightforward okay get some more defenses always make sure that you have a spore crawler it would have been better if we had a spore crawler over there but we don't so it's okay hydralisks will anyways do the job for us and let's not forget about the Spire. The Spire is just as important. Okay, Hive Tech is done. Adrenal Glands next. Uh, let's make a Spore Crawler over here. Rather be safe than sorry. Yes. 
Okay, so the is over there should be ready for the taking. Ideal situation for us to send in the Zerglings to go and play. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Haha, <laughs> exactly the reason why we needed um, sunken colonies, huh? Just let them run around a bit. Another base to claim. Lost one sunken colony, not bad. Oh, I forgot about the Agile scan. Oh, okay. So, um, on the positive side, we have just claimed another base. Plus three is on its way. Immediately get the Gracious Fire so that we can get to the Guardians. And pretty, pretty soon we are gonna have to make a shift to stronger units than what we have right now, like Alkalisks. Actually, in fact, we can, we can start doing that right now. Clear out the defenses. As soon as we have enough to work with, we're gonna start getting some guardians. Uh, yeah, guardians to come out and play. Are they blocked? Okay. Ah, oh, nothing. Great. Oh, more. That's that's awesome. Let's see, it's a Zerg base here by the looks of it. Spawn those Zerglings. Keep them coming. Oh yeah, and of course for Brute War we have Ultralisk upgrades. Faster Ultralisks and improved Ultralisk armor. So, yeah. Make use of that. It's, it's, uh... Definitely gonna come a long way. Okay, let's see about clearing out that base. So, move about with bits and pieces and claim as much territory as we can. The more bases we have, the longer we can keep these battles going. Uh, armor, in my opinion, is going to be a better upgrade for Guardians because they already deal so much damage. It's not going to be a bother to, um, to, to worry about their damage. Okay, keep our Ultralisk here at the back for a while longer. We need to start getting some Hydralisks up and running soon. Okay. Gas is the most important thing for us to get. So the sooner we can get some gas, the better. Ooh. Turn back, turn back quickly. See if we can... Yeah. If you target them quick enough and surround them like that, you can easily take down a lurker. But of course, lurkers, hard counter... Uh, Zerglings. So definitely be careful once they start burrowing. And that that's why the adrenal glands are so important, is because of a reason like that. Hello. Would you look at that? Plus three. Coming on nicely. Oh, you guys are going the wrong way. You guys are going the wrong way. Really? Oy. Okay. Well, anyways, we are probably gonna lose this, so. Okay, about sorting that out in advance. Oi, oi, oi. Bad luck. Our 
Yeah, uh, no ultralisks just yet. So just wait a wait a little while longer before we start investing into the gas heavy units. Immediately start getting those defenses up and running. They're in the fours. They're pretty behind with upgrades. Arrogant. Very, very arrogant, huh? Um, this time let's let's just wait on that a while. Let's get a group of hydralisks. We're gonna need them. And pretty soon we will be making twelve. Twelve. Um. What do you call those things? Guardians. Pretty soon. Forget about that. Combine those two groups and then we're ready for action. Okay, so we can go about making our first group of mutalisks, as you can see, pretty heavy on gas. Uh, when is this upgrade finishing? Great, almost done. Whoa. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Ah, I feel it's just gotta love these units. Gotta love them. Perfect! Here we have our Mutalisks. And what we can actually do is we can make another group of Mutalisks if we really, really want to. And uh, use them to do damage to air as well. Oh, what do you know? This base is dry? Well, no matter. We have secured some more bases anyways. We'll be fine. Twelve Guardians coming up. And a ton more Zerglings where that came. Oh, mighty, mighty Ultralisk. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our okay. right, defenses should actually be enough. Really now. Okay, let's see about getting them to follow in here. Let's see if we can take them down. Come on, come on, come on, follow me. Should actually be able to take these. Oh, no, two of them though. Jeez, you guys are relentless, huh? You guys are really, really relentless. Just out of range, really. This boy over here is not gonna last though. Okay, well. We don't have much of a choice now. We're gonna have to break through this area. And that's in a situation like that where having a bunch of mutalists is gonna be handy because they will, of course, deal with something like this very, very quickly and effectively. Huh? Passing by. Ah, I, I see. I see what's happening. Okay, well, they're gonna die. That's, that's bad. 
And as you can see, the level for the most part is going pretty smoothly, huh? It's, it's really not a big deal of a level. Get some more drones. We're about halfway done, anyways. So for situations like that where it's nice to have have guardians. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't even really bother with going for ultralisks at this stage. Um, they, they're just gonna be too gas gas intensified. So uh, just just go with um, yeah these these units that we have over here. Evolution complete. Hydralisks are almost ready. And here we have a bad base. Nice and fat with minerals. All forces are under attack. Uh huh. Five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, yeah, be careful of something like that, of course. That's why we have Hydralisks. You can always use your Mutalisks to try and bait them, but... Yep. Ah, that's okay, let them do that. Oh yeah, that, that's another reason why uh, the Queens might decide to use something like... Uh, brute spawning broodlings. So be careful, be careful when going for ultralisks. That's one of their favorite maneuvers to use. Okay, um What more needs to be done over here? Let's let's get a large group of Zerglings. And just start using them on the front lines. Yeah, this level is taking a little bit of time, but we are really almost done. Ow. Actually, now that I think about it, we, we've got so much gas going for us that we, we can actually start transitioning to a bunch of Ultralisks. They are expensive, but... I mean, what else are we gonna do with all of the resources? And on top of it all, this this final attack is gonna be heavy. We will lose all of these zerglings, but just just send them into their deaths. We'll be fine. Start transitioning over to ultralisks. Use your guardians to focus fire that. Now, we did a ton of damage to them over there, but uh, of course, we paid a dear price. How are our minerals and stuff going? Let's see about getting those babies out of the way. And. Back to making a ton of Zerglings. Yeah, minerals, minerals are still looking pretty fine for us. In fact, we should go about and exploring here on the bottom side. It's mostly Terran buildings on the bottom side. Whoa. Careful. Hey, get lost, no host. Man, they're not doing a lot of damage to guardians that are upgraded, huh? Jeez, these are wild people. Wow. I'm actually surprised. Well, we have been focusing on damage or armor primarily, so, I mean just like surprised at how little damage they do huh okay Let's see over here make 
Make more Zerglings. Keep them coming. Oh yeah, of course. One very important thing that I forgot about. Uh, the lurkers are gonna do a lot of damage to us if we're not careful. So, uh... Yep. Keep that in mind. Here we go. And another base that we'll be claiming. And that should also kick the Zerg out of this level. point okay now uh, use our guardians to knock down the siege tanks and maybe get them to send in stuff like Valkyries of course try not to oh my man 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 oi 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 that sucks sneaky sneaky Okay, uh, let's see about baiting those rates. Perfect. And we have an overlord here. So, um, we can, we can also storm this base over here. I, I, ideally, like, that's just what we're gonna do. We've, we've got so much going for us. We're playing how I, I would imagine Zerg would be in real life. And let's go. Let's also get a couple of hydralis. Sar is starting to run a bit low. Needless to say, they are very important. You understand why I enjoy this level? It's just the endless flow of units. Never ending. And that's about it. This level is over and done with. Couple more buildings to go. Excellent work, my cerebrate. The UED's defenses are broken. Arcturus, you may take possession of this world with my blessings. Don't be snide, Kerrigan. This was part of the deal, remember? I've earned this. I am Emperor of the Dominion again. I'll be sending General Duke to establish my base of operations in August Grove. I hope you make the most of your reign. Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of level 4 of the Zerg campaign. Like I said, loads of fun to play, especially due to the large amount of resources that we have to make use of. So I hope that you learned a couple of new things, and I hope that when you play this level that you can have as much fun as I just did. 
uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Refer it to your friends who would like to learn some more about StarCraft. And I will see you next time for level 5, where things take a very interesting twist. So definitely stay tuned.